वेलकम टू इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेटिक्स प्लेलिस्ट आई प्रोफेसर हितेश दोलखिया इज गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू स्पियरिकल कैपेसिटर ओवर हियर सो द प्रोसेस ऑफ कैलकुलेशन ऑफ कैपेसिटर दैट विल रिमेन सेम एज आई हैव एक्सप्लेन दैट फॉर पैरल प्लेट एंड फॉर कोएक्शल केबल सो हियर फर्स्ट आई एल एक्सप्लेन यू द जियोमेट्री ऑफ स्पियरिकल कैपेसिटर एंड देन आई एल एक्सप्लेन यू हाउ टू हैव अ कैलकुलेशन ऑफ कैपेसिटर फॉर स्पियरिकल कैपेसिटर सो सी इन स्पियरिकल कैपेसिटर let me draw geometry step by step so see this is how coordinates are there first of all let us say this is y this is x and this is z right now here we have inner sphere that is this and we have outer sphere that you can see and this is sphere right it is not disk so try to understand this this is sphere this is not disk now here for inner sphere let us say it is having radius a and for outer sphere let us say it is having radius b and here inner sphere that is negatively charged and outer sphere let us say that is positively charged you can see so we are a little bit to calculate we are a little bit to calculate capacitance because of this right now see basic formula of capacitance so that should be known to us and that capacitance formula that is c is equals to q by v now where q is charge and v is potential difference now here we have charge q now first we need to calculate what is potential here so voltage or one can say potential so that is v and that we can calculate as per minus integration e dot dl right now what is electric field due to spherical shell so if you see my session based on electric field for spherical shell then i have already explained electric field due to spherical shell that is 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 q divided by r square and in the r direction and dl is dr right and where r range is from means radius range is from a to b so i just need to show it a to b now if you take 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 common outside so 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 into q by 4 pi epsilon 0 that is common then integration a to b 1 by r square dr right and negative sign is outside now you see here 1 by r square integration so 1 by r square integration that is minus 1 by r so let me write it 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 minus 1 by r b a it is like this right so minus minus that will get plus and 1 by b minus if you place this limits inside then you will be getting this has to be q by 4 pi epsilon 0 One by a minus one by b. Now there has to be question like how this is one by a minus one by b, right? So that is happening as per you just see the direction of electric field here outer sphere that I have considered positive and inner negative. So electric field is going inside, right? So as if electric field is going inside, direction has to be negative. So this minus. minus will translated into plus and then you will be getting this formula why the reason is outer sphere always we will be considering outer as positive and inner as negative so as per that you will be finding that potential will be q by 4 pi epsilon 0 into 1 by a minus 1 by b now we know the capacitance formula that is q by v so we can have capacitance now so now capacitance 
for this sphere that will be q divided by v where q q will get cancelled so this will be now we can say this denominator that will go in numerator so we can say it is 4 pi epsilon 0 divided by denominator is 1 by a minus 1 by b so for inner and outer sphere right it will be like this and if there is a dielectric medium then we can say it is epsilon 4 pi epsilon 0 epsilon r divided by 1 by a minus 1 by b see this is how it will be there so this is capacitance because of sphere now there are few cases that we need to understand like i will give you one case so that is quite interesting and that will help you to understand examples right so let me show you that case first so we have one sphere first let us say it is having radius a then we have second sphere let us say it is having radius b and then we have third sphere let us say it is having radius c now here if i say see this is a medium where there is dielectric constant epsilon r1 right and if i say in this region dielectric constant is epsilon r2 then what will be resultant capacitance for this now whenever you have this type of structure we can say resultant capacitance that will be a series combination so resultant capacitance that will be series combination that one should know right so here i need to say resultant capacitance that is is there as per series connection if it is like one sphere above second sphere above third sphere so you will have to consider that is there in series right so here two capacitance are there one is there from a to b and second is there from b to c right so let us there for a to b let us say it is capacitance c1 right so a to b that capacitance has to be 4 pi epsilon 0 epsilon r1 divided by it is there from a to b so 1 by a minus 1 by b that is how it is there and for capacitance b to c you can see b to c dielectric constant is epsilon r2 so we can say c2 so that is 4 pi epsilon 0 epsilon r2 divided by 1 by b minus 1 by c see this is how it is there and as it is there in series connection we can say for series capacitance 1 by c is equals to 1 by c1 plus 1 by c2 and based on that we can calculate capacitance so 1 by c now we can say it will be 1 by c1 so that will be 1 by a minus 1 by b divided by 4 pi epsilon 0 epsilon r1 plus 1 by c2 that is 1 by b minus 1 by c divided by 4 pi epsilon 0 epsilon r2 so this is how 1 by c will be there and then take a reciprocal of it and you will be having resultant capacitance so whenever you have multiple spheres right then consider that is in series and then calculate like i'll show you one case over here like see you have one sphere above second sphere above third sphere let us say one more sphere is there right and if i say this is having 1 mm radius then 2 mm radius then 3 mm radius then 4 mm radius right and if i say 
here dielectric constant that is 1 over here it is 2 and over here it is 3 then there are three capacitor 1 2 2 2 2 3 and 3 2 4 and that is there in series and you just use this 4 pi epsilon 0 epsilon r divided by 1 by a minus 1 by b and then 1 by c is equals to 1 by c1 plus 1 by c2 plus 1 by c3 and you will be having resultant capacitance. See this is what the basic process that one should follow for spherical capacitor examples. I hope that you have understood this. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please do give your valuable suggestions. Definitely based on your suggestions in future I will make videos which will solve all queries which is required to be solved over here on my channel. Thank you so much for watching this video.